And we're joined now by Jesse Thompson of Milford Photo because Milford Photo is the main sponsor for our upcoming Fast Frights competition. It's our short horror movie competition that is going on right now. And Milford Photo is supplying the DJI Phantom 3 grand prize. And so we're going to be talking drones. Jesse, welcome. Kate, I'm happy to be here. Happy to talk drones. Yeah, I mean, and, and you could see we have a DJI right here. Uh, this is the, uh, they've got three right now. And uh, this is the uh, Advance, which is, uh, you know, the most popular seller they have. Very stable craft. I've, I've been loving it all summer. It really is amazing. And before we start talking drones and showing some of the footage that you guys have done and that we've done as well since we got a drone yeah. from Milford Photo, yeah. tell us just a little bit about the business. Sure. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's great that I'm here because tomorrow is the uh, 20th anniversary of the incorporation of Milford Photo. Uh, started by Jim Wilson uh, in 1995. So uh, we're going strong. You know, there aren't too many camera stores left, but we're going strong. You know, uh, we offer all sorts of services from processing and framing, selling cameras, of course, and accessory, and now drones. Very excited. Yeah, and you have a great location in Milford. It's really like in a beautiful building. Well, it's the old Milford Trust Bank uh, right. building, and um, it's really a, a, a keystone of downtown, and uh, we're, we're very proud to be there. Yeah, and I, you know, I was on your website. You guys have a very interactive website, yeah. and I think it's great because you sell this equipment and all these things, and then you provide ways to teach people how to use it. Because that's one of the biggest things. You buy a fancy camera, you buy a drone, you don't necessarily know what you're doing right away. Uh, no, you know, and certainly it's a big investment to buy a DSLR, an interchangeable lens camera, and uh, so we 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 back it up. We back up our sales with a lot of events. I think last year we did almost a hundred classes and workshops and events, and we did uh, two hundred personal lessons. Wow. Keep, keep very busy with it. Wow, that's great. And now drones have just become huge. They've really blown up. I mean, is that what you guys are seeing as well? Uh, I, you know, we have. And we I just heard out in the hallway that they might be the biggest selling, uh, you know, uh, uh, a present for the holiday season. Wow. And uh, we're, we're really looking forward to that. Yeah, it should be a good holiday season for yeah. you guys. Now, I know you guys have probably been taking a lot of video. Joe, I think we have some video uh, that Milford yeah. Photos taken with their drone. If we could start running that right now and just take a look. That would be great. So tell safe particularly this uh these uh these drones yeah yeah and joe i know we have a great cross-country one that i'm a big fan of uh we followed one of the central cross-country runners uh as he was uh taking off and we kind of got to follow him and zoom out zoom out on that it was great drone and use it? I mean, what advice do you have for them? Uh, well, extra batteries and extra blades. Um, battery consumption is pretty, pretty voracious. This has, a, I think, a 5,700 milliamperage uh, battery, which lasts about 20 minutes of flight time. Um, and blades and blade guards, these little guys, uh, sort of training wheels for uh, drone pilots, but uh, have saved me a couple times. Bumping into something inadvertently um, mm -hmm. saves your blades. So. Right. And so you guys have a good stock of these right now? They're we available do. if people need them and want them? We do. This is the, uh, this is the advanced model, um, which does uh, 1080p frames at 60 frames, for, for those of you counting. It has a uh, firmware upgrade that actually now can do uh, 2.7K high def. And uh, they have a 4K version, which is called the Professional. And uh, we have that in stock as well. Comes ready to fly, which is unique. The camera and gimbal are built onto the uh, unit. And so really, all you've got to do is hook up your phone or your tablet to the controller, which comes with it, has a rechargeable battery in it. And uh, you might need to do a firmware upgrade out of the box, but mm -hmm. 
you should be ready to fly once you charge the battery after an hour or so. Yeah, it really is easy to use. It, it is. Uh, what makes this special is the cooperation of uh, Russian satellite contacts. And uh, you can get up to 16 or 18 satellite contacts at one time, wow. which means that uh, you can uh, put it down and uh, have a sip of iced tea and uh, pick it back up and the drone will be where you left it in the sky. That's so amazing. And I find it interesting that when the battery gets low, it GPSs its way back to where it took off. Isn't that right? It That's does. That's pretty amazing. It does. It first, uh, it first uh, warns you in a, in a, in a sternly that you are uh, you know, on your way out of battery. <laughs> and then if you don't pay attention to that and start bringing it back towards the controller, it will come back on its own. Now, I heard flying these inside doesn't always go so well, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, it sounds like uh, maybe you all have had more success with it than I had, but <laughs> I bumped into a wall. I bumped yeah. into an employee who was very happy that I had on my, my prop guards here. But uh, you, you have to make sure with these that you get significant or um, uh, concrete, if you call it that, uh, connection to the satellites. And this one does a very good job with it. Don't be rushed when you go into a new uh, location. You may have to do a, what's called a calibration, but it, it walks you through all that on your phone or your tablet. Mm. So uh, as long as you pay attention to those basic ground rules, it's a very stable platform to fly. Ah, so it's very user friendly. It, it, it is. And, and, and apparently this is a very new kind of phenomenon with these drones. There's always been a learning curve and always been sort of the fear that it will just fly away. And uh, these uh, have gone a long way towards uh, alleviating those fears about drones from the drone community. Mm. Well, Jesse, how can people get more information on Milford Photo? Well, certainly. Uh, MilfordPhoto.com would be the first place to go. We have a very active meetup group. So if you go to meetup.com slash Milford Photography, you'll see we have almost 3,000 members, which makes wow. us the largest online photo club uh, between New York and Boston. So we're very proud of that. Facebook, of course, Milford Photo. Uh, we're uh, And we have the old-fashioned phone. You can call us in downtown Milford, too. <laughs> That's great. And I do want to mention, as we said, Milford Photo is our main sponsor for our Fast Frights contest. Hmm. We're looking for digital horror films, three minutes or shorter, up to one gigabyte for entry. And the top videos will be screened at a special Halloween event at 850 Degrees in Ridgefield, Connecticut, this October. For more information on that, visit FastFrights.com. And we want to thank Milford Photo. Jesse, thanks for coming down and talking with us. Uh, Kate, I always love to come down and talk to you all. Thank you very much.